Good morning, it is Monday. I didn't film um, over the weekend because I was filming my video for today, which you will have seen the previous video. Um, and it was my the next sketchbook project video. So I had some plans. Um, you saw in the last vlog that I kind of, I did this on here and I really, really liked it. And I wanted to do something in my sketchbook project for it. Um, so naively, and I guess, I don't know why it would have, I would have thought about it. The paper, the, the watercolour paper is very different and unfortunately it held up with the watercolours, the, the metallic watercolours, but in terms of this enamel spray it did not hold up and I had an absolute <laughs> mare. I was very sad, I was heartbroken because I sprayed it on. Um, the artwork looks good at the end, it looks fine. Not as not quite as metallic -y as as the, the one in my moleskin however it went through to my other artworks so i'm a bit gutted about that so we need to figure something out i don't know whether luckily this hasn't gone on these two mushrooms and this has only gone on this mushroom a little bit so i'm hoping that i can just either put some white paint on this or cover it up in some way because when i send this sketchbook project in it is going to be photographed and i don't want that big red thing there um, luckily I've scanned the artwork in so that's not too much of an issue but um, it is a bit, dis a bit, a bit soul destroying um, to say the least but anyway that's what I filmed yesterday and I was a little bit heartbroken and I didn't really want to vlog so I didn't um, but yeah that's an update on that um, my girlfriend's been making spiders I've just got to finish them off so she makes them to this point and then I finish them off so she's been doing that we did some stall prep um writing up kind of the stock that we've got how much of everything we've got because i don't like i've decided i don't want to put um items on the stall if i've not got enough of them because it just looks a bit sparse it doesn't look it doesn't look good if i've only got like one or two items of something so there's a few things that i'm not going to be selling at this stall such as my gemstone trees i don't i've only got like three or four of those um my little fairy gardens i've not had time to make any of those so i've only got some old ones which i'm not even they're not even my favourite looking, they're just a bit too small or not very detailed, not to my standards anyway, so I don't really want to put those on either. So yeah, we've been writing down how much of everything we've got, so I need to make some hair clips, um, I need to make some smaller spiders, because I do some miniature spiders that I need to make, um, some hearts, because obviously I had that big heart order, she's called that off for now, she has a few other pay, pay commitments that she'd rather pay for at the moment, which is absolutely fine. Um, so she can pick that order back up whenever she needs um, but obviously we stopped making hearts after that first batch of 70 went out um, so we need to make some more hearts of those we've only got two in stock at the moment so that will be another push for those um, we are currently redesigning my gecko kits I have some baggies to put them in and my girlfriend's just designing the front of it I did a mock-up so she's just pulling that together um, and then I need to count out beads to put them all in and make sure that they're full kits with everything in. Um, I need to make some standing fairies. I have a few which I'm not actually happy with so I'm not going to put those on the stall. I don't think they're up to my standards so I need to start making more of those. Um, and other than that we seem to be okay on the miniature side. In terms of art I need to figure out some displays for some of my prints etc because that's what I'll be selling. Um, and then in a general sense, I just need to come up with how I'm going to display it all on the stand So you'll be seeing a lot of that at the moment. I have a stand that I made a long time ago that actually needs updating um, And just making it a little bit cleaner and a bit better that with stand kind of being out in the wind or, or something like that So yeah, there's a lot of stall prep stuff, which is what you will predominantly be seeing now um, I'm gonna put my sticker maker slightly sticker making slightly on hold at the moment and kind of focus on the stall prep because the stall I've got it over two days I could have it over the three days because it's a bank holiday weekend but I just opted for the two days because there's a few restrictions still in place because we're just coming out of lockdown so there's a few things like only four people allowed in a queue, whereas usually you just have people walking out around wherever they needed to go. And um, so now they've got a queuing system. So I'm a bit worried that we're not going to get quite as much um, traffic, foot traffic um, to the stalls. So I only booked the two days and for two days it's costing me £51. So I don't, I just want everything to go right because I need to at least make the £51 up. And don't forget I bought a, a new gazebo as well. So I kind of, 
I'm kind of classing the gazebo as my own expense, not a business expense at the moment, because I hopefully will use it for garden parties and things like that in the future. So, um, but if I was, I'm not sure I'd make all that money back, but we will see, you never know. Um, but other than that, that's probably an update. I'm just letting you know what you will probably see in this week's vlog. It's going to be a lot of trying to get it done after work as much as possible. Um, so yeah, it's uh, all guns blazing this week and seeing where we get up to. know what I said that I was gonna do some stall prep and I really should have been <laughs> but I could not help it my sticker paper came I got some gloss and I got some clear gloss and I really wanted to try them out and they printed really well I'm really happy with the way they look um, and so I wanted to just try out the, the sets that you can get so um, I think they look good basically I got these cellophane I have these cellophanes that I use for making um, gecko kits which I'm redesigning at the moment um, however I didn't want to have to get any different sizes so I tried to make these works what works I tried to make these work for these sticker sets I just think that the bags are gonna be too big they're all falling to the bottom so then you've got all this space at the top here so I think I may have to get a different size cellophane bag for these um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you. These are the different types. I've got some leftovers, so I'll show you some close-ups here. So the this is the gloss. Oh, this is the gloss here. Um, I think that printed really well. The cutting's really good. And then the um, clear looks the same on the white, but as you peel it off, obviously, any parts that are white and because these are watercolor i'm not sure they work because the watercolor will obviously let a little bit of white through so it's not like a block color i can't peel this off there we go um so you have that really nice clear look to the sticker which will probably work better with art with block colors like i say but um i thought i'd try out this out anyway um but yeah, that's an update on those. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with these. But like I say, I think I might have to get a smaller cellophane bag just to make them, I don't know, maybe something a bit just not squat. I don't know. We will have a look um, and see. Um, in terms of the artwork, I actually managed to patch it up. I put some white paint over them and they look good. I think the red on that stem actually looks fine because the, the mushroom's red itself. So I'm actually really pleased with that. I think that's that's worked out fine. So the artwork's all saved on there. So all in all, all turned out um, good and um, pleased. So I think I need to do a little bit of beading now. I think that is probably for the best. Um, I'm going to make some small spiders I think so you'll probably just see me working on those until I have to go for my dinner <music>